Um, another way would be the MBAA guide. So there's MBAA.org. Um, it's a directory, well, it's the National Business Aviation Association, which wouldn't be this. <laughs> That's something else. Let's see what we got. So National Business Aviation Association uh, is a great place to find private owners. I'm trying to pull up their little, here's a little homepage. If you come to Beyond and Above training, we can get you a discount to be a member on the MBAA. Um, you know, pretty much we send you out an email, you talk to our contact, you say you came to Beyond and Above, you get pretty much a half price discount. You know, we worked it out, we have so many, we send so many students there, they give us a discount. When you log in, like I'm showing you right now, I'm not even gonna log in because um, we're gonna save that for you, but you come to the website when you're a member and you log in, and you can search all the heavy jet operators that they have in their directory. So Air Charter Guide has an Air Charter directory for Air Charter Aircraft, Charter, and then MBAA pretty much has both Charter and Private, Part 135 and 91. They'll have a directory of all the, all the heavy jet companies in here as well. So you could go, you could find their information, find some emails, find their website, do all that. You can also sign up for a email list called MBAA Jobs and that will, um, they'll send you whatever jobs people post. So uh, Xerox needs a new flight attendant. They go on MBAA Jobs. They say, I need a new flight attendant. You're, log you're set up on that email so you get that email. Bam, you got a job. I found that MBAA offers um, some pretty good jobs from time to time. So it's definitely a place to go. Um, that's for private aircraft and they have charter here too. But uh, this is a paid membership. This air charter guide is free. So you can search it anytime. Uh, I actually helped build flycontract.com um, probably about eight years ago. It's the largest contract pilot and flight attendant directory in the world right now. Um, it functions very simply in that it's doing what we always, when we built, when we um, designed this, well actually the, the president, it was his idea was that there was nothing out there that just showed a picture, where they were at, how much they wanted to get paid. There was nothing like that out there. It, it, it's, there was listings of resumes and it was hard to navigate. This is almost like a little bit of a Facebook style and um, it just has listings of, of pretty much all the flight attendants that are out there. A lot of them have come through our school. Um, price, how much do I get paid per hour? Well, since this is a public site and pilots come on here and they search and they try to find a flight attendant in the area, they search, see, I, I don't like it when people put too many things, but this is good, this is New Jersey, Miami, Van Nuys, so maybe searching uh, Miami, Anna will come up, Annie, and um, it'll have, you'll be able to get contacted from here. Since this is a public website, do not post a resume on this website with your home address. Never post your resumes with home address on anywhere public at all. Make that a standard thing that you do. Um, so you can see all the listings here. Your picture on this should be like a flight attendant. I know that sounds silly, but I see people, they put pictures up with their dog, they put pictures up um, just doing things that look silly. And that's not what you want to do. This, wow, it's a big picture. She actually came to our school. Um, this is an awesome picture. It's, uh, she looks like a flight attendant. Um, they, she kind of got it, it looks like she might have gotten it done, like a professional. We had a, a student come through and she had this picture up there that was totally just, I, I didn't agree with it. Um, but whatever, it's what she wanted to put up there. 
Then she went and had a pre professional photo shoot done, wore like flight attendant gear, reposted it on flight contract, was called within two days for a job. So what does that mean psychologically? When I'm a pilot and I go on a site like this, my first question is going to be that. Is if I see a person not dressed as a flight attendant, my first question as a pilot is going to be like, can I trust this man or woman in my private jet? Because whatever they're wearing isn't professional. So the first question as a pilot is, going, oh, I don't know. And, and so why would you want to have him think that? You want the pilot to come on here and go, oh, that's a flight attendant. She looks like a flight attendant. I know she could look that way on the private jet. That's how I want her to look. You've already removed one question out of his repertoire, and that makes you a better candidate for him to hire right away. Say if you need somebody a pinch, he doesn't want to question if you're going to wear the right gear. You know, it's a, you want to just hit that question right, nip it in the butt. What are you going to get paid? What do you want to put on this? You know, they say price per day. I think I would just be around 350, 400. Don't quote me, but I think that why, why should you really rock the boat unless you have some crazy different skill, you're a uh, world-renowned chef or, or um, massage therapist or something you could bring to the aircraft, a, a sommelier, the, the people who know wine. Um, those, that's a little extra. Maybe they'd be able to charge extra per day, but when I click on it, I better see that they have something extra. If, if you're saying 800 bucks and, and you don't have anything extra in your profile, I'm, I'm going right away. Because I know as a pilot, I know how much, I'm not a pilot, but I know pilots, they want to know how much you want to charge. Why would you want to be too high? I don't want to get myself out of the running. I want them to search, see my price per hour's average, look at me, check me out, and then call me up. That's, I don't want to rock the boat. I'm, I'm just not a fan of that. Do whatever you want. If you think you're worth $1,000 a day, go for it. I'm not recommending it, but that's just, that's your thing.